Today, we're going to talk about personal debt, consumer debt. This usually comes in the form of credit card loans, as well as personal loans from the bank. It could also include healthcare loans and car loans. Hi, my name is Shang. I run the company Save My Sense, and I'm here to teach you personal finance with joy. Most personal finance advice out there when it comes to personal debt and consumer debt is for you to write all of your debts down. I actually have a piece of advice for before you do that. And what is it? I want you to forgive yourself and not to find yourself by your debt. I've been coaching people out of debt since 2017. And very often when people come to me with credit card debt or healthcare debt, they are so beat up. They are so unforgiving of themselves saying, I messed up. I was stupid. I took on all this debt and I shouldn't. And they really see themselves in such a negative way when it comes to consumer debt. Oftentimes, getting into consumer debt is a cascade of different situations over which you don't always have control. For example, a lot of my coaching clients who've had consumer debt, maybe it started with an accident or an emergency. Maybe it started with a divorce, which can be very financially devastating. And then you're going through a tough time. You don't really watch your spending or you don't have the ability to. Maybe your mental health wasn't all that great. And the debts just pile up and pile up and it gets overwhelming over time. And that's how I often see this personal debt build up. If you're in such a situation, I would love for you to understand that you are not defined by your debt. Having consumer loans, having credit card debt doesn't make you a bad person. And yes, maybe it wasn't the most ideal situation to be in when it comes to personal finances, but there is a way out. There's a way to get debt free and you must believe in it. I want you to believe that you can become debt free and that you can be very successful when it comes to personal finance. All of this comes down to the power of manifestation. If you believe yourself to be bad with money, to be bad with personal finances, then you're also much more likely to do actions, to take on behaviors that essentially leads you to be bad with money. You maybe don't take the time to learn about it. You give up very easily. Maybe you look at some calculators or spreadsheets and like, oh, I hate all of this. And you avoid it. And it's the avoidance of the process that makes things worse because consumer debt usually has really high interest rates and your debt then piles up over time. Instead, what happens when you forgive yourself when it comes to debt? you are much more likely to leave that behind and say, that was the past, that happened. And I'm not proud of it, but I'm not gonna beat myself about it anymore. Now I'm gonna take a step forward. I'm gonna learn something new. I'm gonna commit and put my trust in the process that other people have used to get that free. And that will be me. And not only am I gonna get that free, I'm going to save money, I'm going to invest it and build wealth. That's the attitude that I need you to take on in order for you to become successful in paying off your debt, getting debt free and building wealth. So the magic is not in writing down all of your debts or figure out the perfect debt free plan. By the way, there, there's no perfect way. There are better ways, but no perfect way. The key thing here is attitude. And the key thing here is self love, self forgiveness.